Hello, welcome to this video on how to enable Power BI Hardings in Excel 2016. Some things for you to know first. In Excel 2016, Power Query is now Get and Transform and it's installed by default in all Excel 2016 versions. So if you go to Data, you will see there it's Get and Transform. It's permanently there. It's now inbuilt into all versions of Excel. It's no longer a standalone heading. Next is Power Map. Power Map is referred to now as 3D Maps. So in case you enable it and you can't find Power Map, it's 3D Maps. So you see it under Insert. And Power View. Power View is now doubly hidden. Even after you enable it, you still have to go and hide it. Okay, so let's let's start. So first of all, let's say you are not you don't have them enabled or you are not sure they are enabled. So come to file, click on options, Hardings, manage Hardings, click on the drop down arrow, select com Hardings, go, and then you tick every one of them. I tick power view, power pivot, power map. Power view. I'm not going to see Power Query. Like I said, it's now inbuilt, so it's not a standalone heading anymore. And I click on OK. So next is now I can see Power Pivot it's showing. If I come to Insert, I'll see Power View. Like I said, it's 3D map, so it's there. And as I've explained, Power Query is permanently there. It's now Get and Transform. The one I'm not seeing is power view uh, ignore this it's not power view so power view to enable power view i click on file i go to options again but this time around i go to customize ribbon then i select in here i select all commands then i'll scroll to p so i'm looking for power view power view I think I've gone past it. It's yeah. So this is Power View. I don't know why Microsoft has decided to hide it, you know, in here. And so I select where I want it to show up. At. So that was why I created this. I I created a custom. I created a new group, right? So I created a new group. You can see it's showing as custom. Called it Power View. And then I selected that I wanted to move it in there. So I select Power View. Select the new custom group I've created do hard so it's now showing in there and i do okay so now i have power view so thank you for watching this video and watch out for our next in the series of short useful excel videos thank you